All right, guys, we've got quarterback Steven Montez and Shea Fields. Steven, can you just talk about the chemistry between you and Shea today and some of those big plays and just how good it felt to connect on, on three huge plays? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I just, I just give him a decent ball, and he goes out there and makes amazing plays. All of our receivers do. He got absolutely loose on a little five-yard fish route. Easy throw for me, and he just turned it into a highlight real play. On the second one, the 33-yard touchdown, the second one he threw to him, it almost looked like you did a double take at how open <laughs> Shea was. I mean, did, you, did it take oh, a yeah. second for you to see him on that play? Um, I was kind of just waiting. I, I didn't know if that safety was there or not. And we had so much time with the protection. O-line did a phenomenal job today. So I just kind of waited and waited and made sure that he was open and then threw it. <clears throat> Steven, you guys went 47 to 60. It feels like you almost could even have played better. Is that how, how it felt in the long I mean, you could always play better. You can always get better at something, and that's what we're going to go in on Monday and correct the mistakes that we made. So uh, it'll, it'll keep going up from here. Shay, uh, Oregon State had not given up hardly any big passing plays all year. I think they were number one in the Pac-12 in passing efficiency. What did you guys see that you were – I know you've been beating teams on big plays, but what did you see that you guys were able to beat them on those big plays? <clears throat> uh, I mean, after the first drive, we see some things that we could take, uh, take advantage of. Talked to Coach Cheverini and uh, Coach Langer, and we just called some plays that worked. So it's fine with me. You guys have been here for some highs and lows. I wonder what it means to be 2-0 in the Pac-12. What does that feel like? Uh, I mean, we've. Been, I mean, I've been here. So we had two losing seasons my freshman and sophomore year, and then this junior year is just turning around. It's amazing right now. Four and one. Uh, I mean, we still have some great things to do ahead in the future, but I mean, just cherish the moment right now. Steven, it seemed like after the first drive where you had the three incomplete passes and then you come back and you go to the run six consecutive times. After that, it seemed like things really opened up in the passing game as well. Talk a little bit about how using the run today and getting a lot of yards on the ground was able to complement you and, and your game. Yeah, I think the run this game definitely opened up the pass. Um, came out, started a little shaky, and it had uh, three incompletions, three and out, um, and then just came back, different mindset, we're going to go score. So. Guys, I guess the question going into this game was, would the CU Buffs have a letdown after the big win against Oregon? And you answered that in resounding fashion with a 37-point first half. What allows you guys to get out of the game so quick and be so dominant in these first halves? I mean, the tempo. The tempo that we, that we practice is nothing that you can practice against, our coaches say. Uh, I mean, we started off a little slow, like he said, but once we got going, it's, it's really hard to stop that tempo, especially in the elevation. So. What does it feel like to win back-to-back Pac-12 games for the first time in school history? Has it, has it sunk in that you've done something no one has ever done before? Um, I mean, I think that's big and all that, and that's good, but I think we still have so much to go. If we, if we win these first two games and then lose the rest, it's not going to matter. So I feel like we still have a lot of work to do, and I, I, I feel like we have a lot of big things to accomplish still. Sure, you guys have uh, played in front of some crowds that aren't so big. Today was the biggest crowd of the McIntyre era. Did it feel that way? And was, is it fun to play in front of some fans that uh, want to come out and see you play now? I mean, it's always fun to play in a packed stadium. That, I mean, that's just what you <clears throat> that's what you want as a team. The fans behind you, the support. I mean, it just gives us that extra energy when we go out and play. Where does your confidence come from? Um, just, uh, just desire to be the best. Just go out there at work every day at practice, and I just, you know, just try to make my family happy, trying to make El Paso proud, and just, just go out there and uh, just play my game, do me. Hey, Shay, what is it about Steven that impresses you? He's a young guy who hasn't had a lot of college snaps under his belt. This was his second and a half game, yet he's back there in the pocket. He's able to scan the whole field. He's able to find you deep, keeping his eyes down the field. He seems maybe wise beyond his experience. What impresses you? I mean, just, just him staying level-headed. I mean, especially after last week's game, uh, he probably, I think, broke two records or somewhat. Uh, and we told him just don't get complacent, and he didn't do that. He came out, balled out today, and just his poise and energy that he brings to the team is it's overwhelming to me. As receivers, are you guys going to have to start lobbying your quarterbacks to keep throwing you these deep balls? Is it going to become a competition between you, Devin, and Bryce? I mean, we always tell them, uh, <laughs> let's go deep. I mean, that's what every receiver wants, but it just happens uh, we could break the short ones also. So. Steven, when did you know you were going to start? Um... I mean, kind of towards the middle of the week, they still I, they still weren't sure uh, about Cepho, and so they gave him time to, to rest and heal up, and they, they gave me the, the go-ahead, and that's kind of how that happened. And then uh, once in the huddle, once you guys were quite successful, what, 
how challenging was it to keep everybody's head in the game? And even though it was a big lead, you needed to still keep the gas going. Um, I don't know if it was real challenging. Uh, it was kind of just more like it's still a ton of game left. We needed to stay focused. Uh, but our guys are just so hungry, and they just they got a lot of a lot of heart, a lot of desire. They just want to play and put up as many points as we can. Steven, this might be an unfair question to ask you, but when Sefo is healthy, who should start a quarterback on this team? Uh, that's not for me to decide. That's for uh, Coach McIntyre, Coach Sev, Coach Linger, and they're all gonna they're gonna see who gives the gives us the best chance to win, and uh, that's who will play. How good do you feel though that you put yourself in that conversation to be able to make it a tough choice? I mean, I feel like I just went out there, played my game, played well, and. I know we have two great quarterbacks. Seth was a great quarterback. I like to think that I'm a, I'm a pretty decent quarterback. So um, they got they got some decent guys to choose from. One of the uh, big coaching cliches they always use is you're either getting worse or you're getting better. Do you guys feel like you're getting better week to week? It's certainly. <clears throat> I, I think we're definitely getting better week to week. I think we go out every week with a new mindset, clean slate. It's almost like we're uh, oh and no again, just. Just going out preparing for a different team. Jay, what, what is it that you can do that you're getting so open? Is it the fact that Steven keeps the play going and you can break loose? Of course, there's the pure speed aspect of mm -hmm. it. But. Uh, I mean, it's just, it just came in the offseason. We worked different routes, uh, different ways to get open and different ways to kind of like disturb the DB's mindset. But it just happens with the play calling. The play calling's there. I just happen to be open. He gets me the ball. That's pretty much it. Are we got time for one more question? Do you guys think you? <laughs> <laughs> Two more. <laughs> oh, no. go, go for it. Got it. Do you guys think you belong in the top 25 next week? That's, I mean, like he's gonna say, that's, that's not up to us. I mean, we're just playing ball. If we happen to get in the top 25, that's great. But I mean, we still got work to do. Jay, is there anything different just about where this team sits right now as opposed to a year ago, exactly today? Anything in terms of the mindset? Just how would you compare the, the two teams? Uh, this year we're more hungry. More hungry. I mean, we, we don't want another losing season. We've gone through too much of that. And uh, the, these upperclassmen are, like, bringing us along and just kind of, like, pushing us to where they didn't last year. But now this year is, like, everybody wants to win. Thanks, guys. Just got to go. <laughs> <laughs>